guys, welcome back to another week in videos. Today I'm going to share with you my weekly makeup basket where basically I go through my makeup collection, choose the products that I want to use for the entire week for different reasons, just because I want to decide if this is something that I want to repurchase or it's because it's a new product or it's something that I haven't used in a while and that way I can use or get use of most of my makeup in my makeup collection and have them on a regular rotation. So in today's video I'm not going to go through the makeup collection collection because I moved to a different part of the house and all around me is full of boxes of makeup and stuff that I need to put into my vanity and kind of organize it around this new area where I'm at right now. So I will start showing you the products. I hope you enjoyed this video. The first thing I want to share with you is my foundation and CC cream that I'm going to be using. The foundation is the Revlon Nearly Naked and I have this on a project finished five by Cinco de Mayo. I've been using it. I mean, I wanted to get a pump. I haven't done that yet. So I'm still using it this way. It's kind of hard to get the product out now that there's little amount of makeup in this bottle. So I don't like that. And, you know, by the end of this project, I'm going to make sure if this is something that, you know, because of that, I wouldn't repurchase it or if it's good enough to just keep repurchasing it and change it to a different container. Then the next one is the Mary Kay CC Cream. I picked up something from the floor and I grab a lot of hair. So I'm trying to get rid of it. This is the Mary Kay CC Cream with uh, SPF 15. This is in light to medium. I keep this in my car. I made a point to go pick it up. It has a pump. It's just like a squeezy tube, but then it has a pump. I will do a full review on this product. You'll see this on a Mary Kay Wednesday, the next one that you're gonna see this week. So stay tuned for that. Foundation primers. I'm gonna be using the Dr. Young Anti Pore Pore Eraser Balm. I like this because it actually, you know, helps me a lot with my pores and it mattifies my skin. But I don't know if I would repurchase it. So this is why I put it in this weekly makeup basket, you know, and it's in another project that I'll share with you pretty soon. And the next product is the Monacodar Sheer Glow. I've been using this as a primer before I apply my highlighter, but now I'm gonna be mixing it with my foundation and see how it goes that way. You know, using the products different ways may make me realize if, if it's something that I need or not in my makeup collection. If I can't find my absolute way of, you know, my my absolute favorite way of using the product then you know it might be something that I don't need to repurchase then for eye primers I'm gonna go back to one of my favorites this is the wet and wild take on the day eyeshadow primers I love this I haven't been using it in a really long time so I know I love it and that's why I added it now for concealer I have two the first one is the Heart Candy Glamouflage in the color 10 and I love this, it has great coverage, one of my favorite as far as coverage but it's kind of hard to work around the creasing part of this concealer so I'm going to mix it with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This is waterproof and I love the coverage that this gives me so I'm going to try to mix it and see you know how it works together and of course I'm trying to finish this Glamouflage that I had in my collection for a while so finding something to mix it with it's gonna make it so much easier for me to use it up then uh, for eyebrows I have my Mary Kay brow definer pencil in the color brunette this is very pigmented I like it I have it in one of the projects I do not care for pencil eyebrow pencils but this one it's okay I like it I mean it gives me a look that I like and the brow shaping clear wax by Milani I love to use this instead of uh, clear brow gel or something like that. And then I have the Giordana 12 Hours Made to Last eyeshadow pencil in the color Continuous Almond that I use to clean up under my eyebrows. And for eyeshadow bases, color eyeshadow bases, I have two. The first one is the color Metallic Taupe and this is by the Mary Kay Cream Eyeshadow Collection. Um, I wanted to use it a little bit more because it's drying up on me and I have to revive it twice so that's why I added it. And then something that I got in an Ipsy bag, this is the iTeeny in the color Violet. I have a, a tutorial using this and since then I haven't used it that much so that's why I decided to add it to this week. The first one is the Benefit What's Up. This I got as a birthday gift, uh, not last year but the year before. And I do like it. I feel like I don't use it enough. So. Then I also want to use the MAC 
highlighter in Silver Dusk. This is a sample size that I got from Nordstrom. And then I have two different kind of highlighting things that you can use for highlighting, but I'll explain what I'm going to be using them for. This is the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder in the color Brighton. I love to use this as an eyeshadow and I love to use it as a highlighter. So if I want to change it up my MAC one then I can use this one and then I also have the Mary Kay liquid illuminator that I'm using on top of a moisturizer on my legs I couldn't say the word uh, I just apply a moisturizer all over my legs and then I apply this and it gives me a little bit of a sheen and a, a little bit of a bronzy color that I like whenever I'm gonna use shorts or something like that for bronzers I have two the first one is the Sonia Kashuk rich bronze well this is in the color rich bronze and it's a cream bronzer that I do enjoy. I haven't been using it lately so that's why I kind of pull it out and I was like okay this is the time to use it. I get more into bronzers around this time of the year and you know I have that phase until summer is over so I'm gonna take this out. I'm excited to use it. And then the MAC bronzer in golden bronze that I have a sample size as well. Then for powders I'm just gonna be using one. This is the Tarte Pro Book Tour pressed mineral powder in the color fair i need to use this up before i get darker so this is going to be the only powder i'm going to be using as far as blush i'm going to be doing a little bit of a different thing the first thing i'm going to be using as a blush and i'm going to depot it and you'll see it uh, by the end of the week but this is the mac lipstick in captive it started to smell different than it should so I don't want to use it on my lips whatever is left of this that I had it in my project pan so I'm gonna depot it and use it as a blush and then on top of that I'm gonna be using my elf baked blush in the color passion pink that I have in my project to finish by May 5th for eyeliners I have three the first one is the Lord and Berry in the color black I mean, I'm almost out of this. I'm sure that I'll finish it before the end of the week and then I'll have to pull something different, but I want to pull this out. I also want to use my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the color black. I used to be obsessed over this and right now, I don't know if I love it that much. So I'm going to use it this week and see if I re fall in love with it or if it was something nice at the time. Then I also want to add the Elizabeth Moth Smooth Shadow in the color Penny. It's a very nice golden kind of eyeshadow base. For mascaras I have three things actually for my lashes. The first mascara I'm going to be using is the Orbit Decay Perversion that I got in my Ipsy bag. Then I also want to use my Lorac Pro. This gives me a lot of length and the Perversion one gives me a lot of volume. So I'm going to kind of mix those two. And I'm also going to be adding this Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. I haven't been using this in a while and I thought it was time to pull it out and just use it and see if I like it or not. And then for eyeliners, I have three that go with the lip products that I chose this week. The first one is the Mary K lip liner in the color coral. Then I also have this Tarlok in Tickle Me Pink. This is what I have on my lips right now. And then the Essence lip liner in Soft Berry. I love these three lip liners and I haven't been, you know, putting so much effort into combining lip liners with my lip products, but I like the looks that it, the look that it gives me. So I decided to just, you know, pick some lip liners for the week. Then for lip products, number one is I'm gonna be using my Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Lip Primer that I haven't been using because I kind of forgot about it or forget about it. Then I have a lip gloss and this is actually the Alme Liquid Lip Balm in the color Cantaloupe. I like this color a lot and I think it's very kind of a springy color so that's why I pull it out. Then Going with the oranges, I'm going to be using this Sigma Lip Vex Lip Gloss and this is in the color Steady Glow and it has a lot of shimmer and I don't know why but when spring comes around or summer I like more shimmery lip glosses. I don't know, go figure why. And also what I have on my lips is a CD Color Creamy Lip Stain that I got in my Ipsy subscription. Uh, I think this is the color Flirt Mini and I'll talk about that on my Casual Friday. That's what I have on my lips today. Then I also have my Revlon 
balm stain i'm not sure what the name is it rubbed off this is pretty old this is in the color honey and i used to be obsessed on this with this color i had it all the time in my purse and then i kind of forgot about it so i'm gonna pull it out and use it this week and then for my eyeshadow palette i'm gonna be using my naturally pretty by it cosmetics this i'm not gonna show it to you because i want to show you the progress on my next update that i didn't have time to record anyways Thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed this weekly makeup basket. Do you do weekly makeup baskets? I feel like it makes my life so much easier. I just put it here on my top drawer, which you can't see right now, but I put it there and you know, it makes my getting ready so much easier in the morning. And I feel like I don't have that much of a mess because I'm not pulling things out from my drawers. So whatever I use, I just put it back and it makes my life so much easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.